In this video, I explain about natural draft cooling towers and I explain the various four topics related to natural draft cooling tower. First, I explain about introductions, construction, working, and advantages and disadvantages. So, first, we understand what is the meaning of this topic. So, topic is natural draft cooling towers. So, we divide this sentence in a two parts. One part is the natural draft, second part is the cooling tower. So, natural draft means this term is related to the air circulation inside the cooling tower. Means in this cooling tower, how the air is circulate. So, that is the two options are there air is circulate by nature or they are circulate by using the fan. Okay, so here name is the natural draft. Means we are not using any fan. So, circulation of the air is takes place due to the density difference of the inside and outside airs. Second word is the cooling tower means cooling of water is carried out in this tower. Okay, so how the cooling of water is carried out? Cooling of water is carried out by using the air and air circulation is carried out by density difference means by natural we are not use any fan. So it is clear that in this cooling tower we are not use any fan means no fan is used. So when the no fan is used then the how circulation is takes place? So circulation of air is takes place or it is depend upon the natural driving pressure caused by the difference in density between the cool outside air and hot humid air inside. So in a cooling tower hot humid air is there and outside the cooling towers cool air is there. So we know that hot air is there that means its density is low and the low density of air is try to move in upper directions okay. and outside cool air have a higher density. So due to this density difference air circulation is takes place. Therefore natural draft cooling tower are very tall obtain a few hundred feet means the height of the cooling tower is larger compared to the mechanical type cooling tower means induced draft cooling towers and force draft cooling towers because here the air circulation is takes place naturally that's why we are required a larger heights the shape of the body of cooling tower is circular in a plan means when we see the cooling tower from the top its shape is look like circle and hyperbolic in profile means when we see from the sides its shape is look like hyperbolic in the profile therefore natural draft cooling tower often referred to as hyperbolic tower so this natural draft cooling tower is also called as the hyperbolic towers now here you see this is the diagram of natural draft cooling tower so when we see this top view means about the cooling tower it's look like as the circular shape okay and when we see from the sides it's the profile is hyperbolic okay so this curve is called as the hyperbolic curve the hyperbolic profile has been found to offer superior strength and the greatest resistance to outside wind loading compared with other forms okay so there is a various types of the curve are there so why we are using the hyperbolic profiles for a cooling tower because they give the superior strength and the greatest resistance to the uh, greatest resistance to outside wind so when the high velocity winds are there, so these hyperbolic shapes are able to resist the wind load. Even they are also cause the inside airflow. Okay, so and these uh, hyperbolic profiles are help to create the natural circulations of a airflow. The first hyperbolic natural draft reinforced concrete tower was designed by Professor Van Itson of Dutch State and installed by Imami Kolsi in 1960. Okay, means these cooling towers are made by using the concrete towers. This professor is designed it and the first installed in the 1960s. Now before moving ahead to construction and working, I request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of mechanical engineering. For power plant engineering, various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car for other subject I request to visit the playlist. Now here you see this is the diagram of a natural draft cooling towers or a hyperbolic cooling towers. 
so it's have the various component first it's have the hyperbolic profiles and in a hyperbolic profile where these minimum area are there at that place the ring through with nozzles are installed okay so here that is a number of nozzles are there so in a one ring that is number of nozzles are installed and from this nozzle hot water from the condenser are sprayed here number of hurdles are putted they are made from the woodens and at the bottom parts the water is collected air is also enter from the bottom parts okay here eliminator are putted to absorb the water particles from the air and hot air is out from these sides so collected water at the base of the cooling tower is supplied to the condenser again by using this pump so what is this diagonal section diagonal is the diagonal column to support this upper construction means this hyperbolic profile is on this diagonal shape that is i will show you the one image later on for understand this diagonal column in this type cooling tower the hot water from condenser is pumped to the throw with nozzle it is also called as the ring of throw which is placed 9 to 15 meter above the grounds okay so here you see this is ring throw with nozzles hot water from the condenser is supplied here from these various nozzles the water is going down okay when the water is going down the air is coming the contact so air is absorb the heat energy from the water temperature of the water is reduced and the cool water is collected in a base and hot air is out from the upper parts of the cooling towers nozzle spray the water and fall in the form of droplets so when we spray the water from these nozzles so water is in a form of droplets it is not form in a jets okay so it is throw in a form of droplets so wooden hurdle as shown in the figures are provided for spreading of water and for breaking it into the small particles here you see these are the wooden hurdles on the wooden hurdle the water is come in the contact and the water is spread means the water droplets is further divided in a small particles the air enters the cooling tower from opening provided near the base and move upwards take up the heat of falling waters now here you see this is the one other diagrams okay so these are the various diagonal column means this lower part is the hollow okay and from that parts the air is enter in the cooling towers and air is move in the upper directions okay and the water is moving in the downward directions so this enter air is rise up absorb the heat from the falling waters okay and the warm air is discharged at the top as air come in the contact with the hot water air is absorb the heat from the hot waters and become lighter and rise up in a towers okay so air is enter from this bottom parts absorb the heat energy from the waters so when the air is absorb heat energy its density is reduce means they are lighter air and the lighter air is move in the upper directions and they are supplied to atmosphere from the top of the tower the cold and heavier air fills the vacant space thus creating the air flow so when this air is moving in upper direction so here the space is created so new air from the atmosphere is take this place so this way the continuous natural flow of the air is carried out cold water is collected at the bottom of the cooling towers and returned it to the condenser so here you see this cold water is collected at the base of the cooling tower or it is also called as the pond and this cold water is again supplied to condensers by using this pump around 3 to 5% makeup water is added to the pond to compensate the water loss due to the evaporation so here some quantity of the waters are evaporates with the air okay so we need to add 3 to 5% of the makeup waters in this pond to compensate this evaporation loss eliminator is provided at the top of the tower to prevent escape of water particles by air leaving the towers so here you see this is the eliminators and eliminator is used to absorb the water particles from the air okay so water particles are absorb in this eliminators so this is the complete constructions and working of the natural draft cooling towers now we understand the advantages of the natural draft cooling towers first advantage 
its operation maintenance cost are less because no fans are needed means there are no moving particles are there no fan is there okay so they are operate naturally that means its operation and maintenance cost are less suppose we use the fan so in a fan we need to supply the electricity so its operating cost is increased the fan is the moving component so also maintenance cost is increased but in a natural draft we are not use the fan that's why its operating and maintenance cost is low hyperbolic tower chimney shape creates its own draft and ensuring efficient operation even when there is a no winds means suppose there is a no wind means velocity of the wind is very small at that times the natural draft cooling towers are able to cool the waters because they are able to create its own drop due to the density difference they require considerable less ground area okay, so ground area requirement is less the enlarged top of the tower allow water to fall out of suspensions means water are fall naturally they are not suspended in the air it give more or less trouble free operations so that is a chances of troubles are very less in this cooling tower longer in life so life of this type of cooling tower is higher compared to other types of the cooling towers so there is always these advantage are there of the any systems or any components so first this advantage its capital cost is considerably high since the tower may be high as 125 meter means height of the tower is 125 meters and diameter is 100 mm in the base okay and they are construct from the concrete that's why its capital cost means initial cost is very high its performance vary with the seasonal change means in a different seasons its performance are change so its performance is depend on the dry bulb temperatures and relative humidity of a air when season is change dry bulb temperature is change relative humidity is change its performance is vary so these are the two disadvantages of the natural draft cooling tower is there so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends